Hi, everyone. It's Megan, uh, one of the interns at Club Dreams. Um, this week's theme is superheroes, so I chose two books to go along with that theme. So let me go to... One second. This one is called Superheroes Don't Clean Their Rooms, or do they? Ace and Ava loved superheroes. They wanted to be superheroes. They wanted to do things superheroes did. Save cities, battle bad guys, protect the planet. If we're going to be superheroes, we have to act like superheroes, said Ava. First, we'll learn to jump over tall buildings like real superheroes, explained Ace. He stacked their blocks high so he and Ava could practice jumping. Ace and Ava started to jump. They jumped and jumped and jumped. But jumping over tall buildings wasn't as easy as they thought. Real superheroes have super strong muscles, said Ava. Let's try lifting heavy things. Ace and Ava tried to lift their chair, and they tried, and they tried, and they tried. When they finally did everything, fell on the floor. Oh, no, said Ava. One second. Maybe we should try something else, like practice running first, said Ace. He and Ava looked for their superhero sneakers, the ones that made them run super fast. They couldn't find them but they started to run away anyway. They ran and they ran, slipping and sliding through the house until, stop, mom yelled. What in the world do you think you're doing? We're being superheroes, Ace said. Yeah, real superheroes, added Ava. Ace and Ava waited. Surely mom would say she understood that they were doing what real superheroes do. But mom said, you cannot run through the house. Then she marched Ace and Ava up the steps. You need to clean up this room, said mom when she saw the mess they had made. But superheroes don't clean their rooms, said Ace. Yeah, said Ava, real superheroes don't clean up their rooms. Sure they do, said mom. And they don't come out until it's super clean and organized. Organized, said Ace. What does that mean, said Ava. Being organized means putting things back where they belong so that you'll be able to find them when you need them, explained Mom. Ace's shoulders slumped. We're never going to be real superheroes. Ava shook her head, sadly. Never. Ace and Ava climbed down from their bed and started to clean their room. They put board game pieces back into the right boxes. They lined up their books. They made sure all of the stuff they had knocked over went back where it belonged. Ace and Ava put blocks into the bin marked blocks and toys into the chest marked toys. Cleaning up isn't so bad, said Ace. Organizing is kind of fun, said Ava. Ace and Ava straightened the stuffed animals on their shelves. They picked up clothes off the floor. They tucked in their sheets and blankets on their bed. Wow, said Ava when they finished. We have so much more room to be superheroes. Ace even found their superhero sneakers. When Mom saw how well everything was organized, she gave Ace and Ava a big hug and said, Real superheroes are great at cleaning their rooms. She even gave them a superhero badge to prove it. Ace and Ava weren't the kind of superheroes who could jump over tall buildings, lift heavy things, or run super fast. But they were real organi organization superheroes. Follow these simple steps and you can earn your superhero organization badge too. One, organize your toys. Two, put things away. Three, straighten your shelves, four, pick up your clothes, and five, make your bed. Congratulations, you are officially a superhero.
As a mom, I can appreciate that. <laughs> okay, this book. Let me see what we got here. Ten rules of being a superhero. Rule number one: A superhero must always respond to a call for help, even if the odds are against him. Rule number two, saving the day is messy, but everyone understands. It's where the organization superheroes could come into play. Nobody said saving the day was glamorous. Moms don't understand rule number two. Rule number three, every superhero has at least one superpower. That's what makes them super. Captain Magma has three. He is really strong, he has lava vision, and a really friendly personality. Rule number four, a superhero must use his power in a good way. Cookies for all. My, he is super strong. Mine, oh mine. Villains use their powers in a bad way. Rule number five, sometimes superheroes make a lot of noise. Not everyone appreciates the noise of this rule. Rule number six, a superhero needs a tasty snack to be in top form. Rule number seven, superheroes must rest so they can recharge and be ready when the time comes to save the day, like now. Rule number eight, a superhero is always brave. Well, almost always. Oh dear, don't be afraid of the bee. I'm not, but Captain Magma is. I am not. Rule number nine, the goal of a superhero is to save innocent victims. Not this worm, Mr. Bird, with no thought of his own safety. You can see the bird is flying him away. And now he's in the bird's nest. Rule number 10. Every superhero needs a sidekick. Because saving the day is more fun with a friend. Thanks, Lava Boy. Anytime, Captain Magma. Now they're asleep. Go back here. So just as a reminder, um, this week is superhero themed week. So everything that we do involves superheroes as far as um, activities, uh, yoga, everything that we have, you know, going is revolving around the theme. Um, this week, we also have the Sock Puppet Disney Sing Along Zoom. Uh, so you can use the Zoom link to watch. You can submit your videos to the DSA CNJ um, email so send those in um we also scheduled a walkathon and that's on august 21st and that's on the go rally link that was shared to the facebook and instagram page so make sure you're on the lookout for that so you can join us in raising some money hope to see you guys next week <laughs>